गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू नेशनल न्यूज विद क्षितज वर्मा Rear Admiral Sanjay Vatsayan has taken over the command of Eastern Fleet deployed across the Indo-Pacific region which comprises the frontline warships of Indian Navy which are deployed across the region to safeguard the nation's maritime interests. The command was handed over to Rear Admiral Sanjay Vatsayan by Rear Admiral Suraj Berry during a ceremony at Visakhapatnam. <music> Members of the Karnataka State Dalit Sangharsh Samiti have condemned The Supreme Court verdict that said reservation is not a fundamental right and states are not bound to provide it. Moreover, Samiti has demanded that the case be referred to a constitutional bench. US President Donald Trump will visit India on February 24 and 25 as per an official announcement from the White House on February 10 afternoon. Mr Trump and First Lady Melania Trump will visit Ahmedabad and New Delhi. A month after a delegation of diplomats visited Jammu and Kashmir, the government plans to take a second batch of ambassadors to Jammu and Kashmir later this week and allow them to speak with several delegations about the ground situation 6 months after the abrogation of Article 370. Kerala's chief electoral officer Tikara Meena was robbed of rupees 75000 from a checked in suitcase during his flight on Air India from Jaipur to Thiruvananthapuram The Delhi court Tuesday sentenced Brajesh Thakur to life imprisonment for sexually and physically assaulting several girls in a shelter home in Bihar Muzaffarpur district He has been sentenced to life imprisonment for the remainder of his natural life The home ministry said that It has no information on any group called the Tukre Tukre Gang. Replying to a written question in Lok Sabha, Minister of State for Home G Kishan Reddy said that the ministry has no information on whether the terminology Tukre Tukre Gang is based on specific inputs provided by law enforcement agencies. Leader of Hindu outfit Shiv Sena Hindustan was injured while his friend was killed when two unidentified persons opened fire at them in Dhariwal town of Gurdaspur district on Monday evening. That's all for national news today. Keep listening to news catch up and subscribe to our channel for more.